from 1992, McDonald's and Coke teamed up to bring you the Batman Returns Collectible Cuffs. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Right, guys as I said today we're taking a look at the McDonald's and Coca-Cola 1992 Batman Returns collectible cups uh, these two cups did come with uh, lid lids that can actually be used as frisbees uh, as you can see here this is the complete set from the line uh, these are mint, in mint condition I ordered these off of eBay and just received them yesterday, the other day, and they were in mint condition. Never been used before at all. Uh, as you can see, the lids didn't even have the straw holes popped out of them. Uh, very nice. And as you can see here, we have the scene plate or the scene cups from Batman Returns and the character cups. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way and take a look at each individual cup. All right, we're gonna start off with a Batman Returns scene cup. This cup is from the scene where Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle are dancing at the ball, the masquerade ball, uh, just before the penguin busts in and takes Max Shrek. Uh, this is also the scene where they realize who each other's alter egos are when Selena Kyle looks up and sees the mistletoe and says, Mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. And then Bruce reiterates, But a kiss can be deadlier if you mean it. Which is a reversal of what happened earlier in the movie when they were dressed as Batman and Catwoman. Batman said, Mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. Where Catwoman reiterated that a kiss can be deadlier if you mean it. Just before she stabs him in the side with one of her claws. But the detail on this is very Norman Rockwell-ish. Uh, kind of like Norman Rockwell meets Alex Ross. Uh, very nice, very... I mean, you can, you can obviously tell that looks like Michael Keaton and that looks like Michelle Pfeiffer. I mean, spitting image. Perfect. And here you have... Uh, it looks like a stack of cups or whatever, maybe a pillar or something, with the Batman Returns logo and the Batman symbol. Uh, McDonald's, Enjoy Coke, copyrighted. And then here, let me go ahead and pop this off. Here's the inside of the cup. As you can see, never been used. The collectibles made in Canada. And then the Frisbee. Now, some of these did come in different colors. Um, most of them were gray. Some of them came in neon green. Uh, it just depended. But as you can see, McDonald's. There's the Batman Returns symbol. Batman Returns. Frisbee. Bat disc. And then right here, you would pop this out and be able to put your straw in there. Uh, Batman and the Bat Emblem logo are registered trademarks. Of DC Comics Incorporated, copyright 1964, trademark and copyright 1991, DC Comics Incorporated. Uh, but anyway, you can stick your straw in there, and then when you're done, you could use them as frisbees, uh, little mini frisbee discs. They worked okay, from what I remember, when I was a child, when these first came out. Uh, we had the complete set back then. Over time. 
Uh, they got lost and thrown out. Uh, I would not recommend putting these in a dishwasher. In fact, I just placed I placed a bid on another order of these on eBay that had been used they only a couple times they were still in pretty good condition though um they should be i placed a bid but i was the only bid on there uh after this video i'm going to check to see if i won the bid uh and they should be coming soon and we're going to be able to drink out of those and all that but these are going up on my shelf uh, so there's that one we'll move that right here take a look at another scene cup Batman Returns, McDonald's, Enjoy a Coke copyright. This is the uh, scene with the Batmobile and the cl clowns on motorcycles. Uh, not really much to that. Uh, I think they might have added these discs in. I could be wrong. Um, I haven't watched the movie in quite a while. But that, that looks identical to the Batmobile. Very, very nice. And the lids came in all these colors. You got gray, you got black, you got neon green. Of course, I've got all the gray lids. Uh, but the, uh, the lot that I placed a bid on, it has, I believe, the neon green and the black lids. And then here we have you know, Batman Returns, McDonald's, Coke. The scene with the penguin and his giant rubber ducky uh, being chased by the bat boat. It's very nice as well. I believe this one was the first one I ever got. Uh, this I believe this was the first one that came out. And I really liked how Tim Burton made the penguin's hands uh, kind of like a flipper. That was very nice too. So now let's get into the character cups. And we'll start with the penguin. Uh, I did not get a chance to see this movie in theaters. I did not get to see it until it first came, until it came out on uh, VHS. I got it uh, that year for Christmas, which was the one my favorite Christmas present. Uh, but as you can see, this is the penguin cup. This is the cup where he's running for mayor. He's giving his speech, and Bruce Wayne is in the Batcave, and he hijacks the Penguin's microphones. I played this stinking city like a harp from hell. Um, very nice. You got the Penguins with the missiles there. Um, really showcases his flipper hands. Very nice. I didn't know, like I said, I hadn't watched the movie when these cups came out, when I got the cups. Uh, I believe this was also one of our first ones we got. And it really left me kind of confused. Uh, you know, the flippers and all that. But in the movie, it really made sense. Next... We're going to take a look at the Catwoman Cup. There we have Catwoman, the Batman Returns logo. Batman and all related elements are trademarks of DC Comics Incorporated. Copyright 1992. Uh, the McDonald's and Coke logos. Got Catwoman there. Uh, with Batman kind of hanging off the rooftop. I believe this might have been their second, uh, the second time that they met. I could be wrong. Very nice. I love the shiny pleather look of this art style. Really like it. Uh, let's set that right there. Last but not least, we have the Batman Cup. I think this was the last cup we were able to obtain, and it took us forever to find it. Uh, McDonald's was always sold out of this cup. 
uh, but we did finally manage to get it. As you can see, he's in his Batman Returns costume. Uh, however, he's running in this, on this cup, which uh, I don't think Michael Keaton in either Batman or Batman Returns ever really ran like this in either of the movies. Um, I do know in the first Batman film, he and Vicki Vale did run. It was more of a jog, but he ran with his arms down at his side with his cape covering him, which I never really understood. Maybe it was because of the... Uh, strict movement that the leather the bodysuit gave him i'm not sure but i don't think in batman returns he ever really actually ran but it's still a pretty cool look nonetheless you've got the giant sentinel type statues in the background very gothic meets art deco look to gotham city very very nice so there you have it guys, from 1992, the McDonald's and Coca-Cola presents Batman Returns collectible cups with the fr Frisbee mini disc lids. Hope you guys enjoyed this look, this trip down memory lane. If you still have these cups in your collection, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to see how many of you there are that actually still have these. And I'm sure most of them aren't in mint condition like these. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you want to see more of these, let us know in the comment below. Uh, I'm going to try and get the Batman Forever uh, crystal style coffee cups next. Um, you can find these all over eBay. Uh, there is no shortage of them on eBay. Uh, like I said, I'm, I bought this mint set uh, and I put a bit in on another set that I, last time I checked I was winning, I'll have to check again. But again, I'm Shannon for Comicadden TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care my friends.